So you're thinking about moving to Orange Beach, Alabama, Gulf Shores and the surrounding areas and you're wondering if now's a good time to buy. Well, today's video, we're going to cover that topic exactly. So let's get to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones to learn about the current market conditions in Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, and the surrounding areas. My name is Aileen Fountain, along with my partner Andy Hollis. We do these videos each and every week just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to live at the beach. So whether it's nine days or 90 days from when you're thinking about making your move, give us a call, shoot us a text, email us, set up a Zoom. We'd love to meet with you face to face. We get calls and texts from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. So as I mentioned, we are going to talk about if it's a good time right now to buy or not. Um, it, it's a scary market out there right now if you're a buyer. I mean, you don't know. Interest rates have gone up. You still see prices climbing, which is blowing your mind. Um, and so you keep telling yourself, well, should I wait? Should I wait? Well, we're going to really talk about that in, in this video. So here's, here's the thing. I've been doing this for 20 years. Andy and I combined have over 30 years of, of experience, well over $200 million in sales. I, I was, I was around, um, I was a real estate agent in the real estate crash of 08. Uh, so I saw that very, very much firsthand. Uh, lived through the crash. Um, so I've always very much aware of, of the next bubble. If there's a next bubble, what does it look like? Are we in it now? Could there be another crash? Um, I don't see that. I don't see another crash and I'll tell you why. Um, in 2008, with that crash, that bubble that was created, we created all kinds of inventory issues. People were putting their, their property on the market at these high crazy prices and buyers were coming in and they were buying them and they were getting, you know, putting five, 10% down, 0% down, getting 80, 80, 20 loans, getting two different mortgages on properties. So, and, and all with the intent of, of flipping it, you know, six months or a year later for more money. So we created like this crazy chaotic real estate market. We don't see that in today's market. And I, and I, you know, buyers still have to be very qualified to purchase property. Um, there, there's a lack of inventory. So that's going to continue to hold prices where they're at, or even continue to climb prices, even though you see interest rates going up, which you, which did cool the market. It, it cooled the number of transactions that were happening. But the problem is that because of that lack of inventory and there's still buyers out there wanting to buy, there's still a lot of cash buyers out there. You'd be, it would blow your mind the number of cash buyers that we work with on a day-to-day -day basis. So as long as you still have that much money out there and a limit on inventory and you still have buyer demand, it is going to continue to fuel the real estate market. I, I, if you are looking to buy right now, let us help you guide you through because here's the deal buyers aren't necessarily overpaying right now but we do still see properties getting multiple offers so if you're in a multiple offer situation obviously that's going to be a different negotiation tactic than something that's been on the market for two or three weeks and is not in a multiple offer situation so we do see both of those things happening right now in this market and, and one interesting thing that is, is happening is you still have sellers out there <clears throat> that are wanting to push the price too high. They're wanting to put their property out there for a price that it's not worth. They, they think, oh, well, I can always come down on price. Let's just put it out there at this price and see what happens. Well, what's happening is it's sitting on the market because buyers are only willing to, to go up so much on what they're willing to spend and what they're willing to do. So buyers are digging in their heels a little bit more. Again, that can be a totally different scenario if you've got a multiple offer situation. If you've got a multiple offer situation, it's probably because the property was priced right, right out of the gate. And the buyers recognize that and they go, oh my God, let's go look at this property. Because the buyers are out there and they still want to buy but they are not going to just willy-nilly overpay in this market, which is very smart of them. 
So that's another reason why I don't think we're creating a uh, big bubble that's going to burst, that's going to create some other uh, real estate crash. Um, buyers are still getting pre-qualified at the higher rates. Um, rates have trickled back down a little bit and, and they're in a very um, manageable spot right now. So again, if you think that rates could continue to go up, then absolutely go ahead and buy something now and lock into that. But the biggest thing that I can tell you right now why I do not think the inventory shortage is going away anytime soon is that unless you're really just trying to capitalize and cash out on your equity or you are actually having to move, like relocate for a job or downsize, or maybe it was a property that um, a family member passed away and you've got to sell it. Unless you're in that situation, chances are you're not going to sell. You're not going to move. Why? Because you're locked into a 25 or 3% interest rate and you don't want to give that rate up. So naturally, you're going to stay put because you're in a, you, you know you've got equity in your property. You know you've got a very manageable payment because you locked in at a very low rate. So therefore, you're not going to sell. And as long as you've got that mindset out there, you're going to have an inventory shortage. And even for our market, which is a very different market, it's a beach market. Um, we've got a lot of investors. We have a lot of people that own short-term rentals. Well, if they bought two, three years ago, again, locked in at a very low rate and their rentals are, are, are cash flowing, well, they're not going to want to give that up. Plus, if they sell it and they take their equity out, now they've got a, um, now they have a tax problem. So they're going to have to pay taxes on that or 1031 it. And they know if they 1031 it, they're going to be paying a higher price. They may not get the same return on their investment that they had. So another reason why even in this specific market with the type of investments that we have and the type of buyers investors we have, we're still going to continue to see an inventory shortage, which um, will keep, you know, the demand is there. It will keep prices either stable or even climbing to a certain degree, in my opinion. But once again, you know, buyers are not going to just jump. They are going to make a, a, a sound investment. Um, so as long as the, the numbers add up for you, as long as it, it makes sense for you, from an investment standpoint, the, the buyers are out there, the demand is there, and properties will continue to sell. If, uh, if you're relocating or you're moving and you're coming here full time and you kind of have to buy, you know, that's also, again, something that is going to probably make financial sense for you because rentals are the highest I've ever seen them to rent a property. So if you go and you say, well, I'm going to go rent for 12 or 24 months, that's all fine. But if you add up, get your calculator out and add up how much that rent's going to cost you over those 12 to 24 months, you, you might be surprised at that number and rethink your, your waiting um, plan, game plan and, and look more into buying. Because again, you can still buy something. You'd be surprised at, at what affordable things that you can buy in our area and still get a good quality full-time or second home residence. So that's going to just about do it for our video on if it's a good time to buy right now. I hope that information was informative to you and that my perspective uh, gave, gave you a little bit of insight as to where we are in our market right now, where you may personally be in your buying journey. And so hopefully that was helpful to you. And uh, we'd love for you to check out some other videos of ours. If it's your first time at the channel, hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones to learn about the beach life, what it's like to live here, and uh, we uh, would love to see you around town. So until next time, we hope to see you around town. Mm -hmm.